Hi everyone, so this is a second lesson for the differential equations. And it says they're going to be more complicated. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So we're in a particular solution. Now it tells us to do some more integration, because it's been easy so far. He says, so remember you can't plus or minus, you only divide or multiply. So if I want the y's on the left, I've got 1 over 1 minus y squared, dy, is... Uh, I might leave the 2 there, actually. I'm going to leave the 2 there. And that's going to be a 1 over 1 plus x dx. I'm going to put some integration signs in front of it, but I've got to be a little bit careful here. I've possibly made it hard for myself. <laughs> um, right, so let's have a look. Let's have a think about it. The right-hand side is fine. The right hand side is just a log. Because if I differentiate the bottom of this at the top, that's fine. So it's just going to be an ln. Now you look at that and you think, oh my god, how do I do that? If it was y squared minus 1, you'd kind of think about splitting it as, um, as a difference of two squares. So that's what I'm going to do now. So that would be a 1 minus y and a 1 plus y dy, and then that's a 1, 1 plus x, dx. So this one here, I've got to use partial fractions. Who doesn't love a bit of partial fractions? So 2 over 1 minus y, 1 plus y, oops, uh, hang on, let's try and remove a little bit of that. It's two brackets multiplied together, so each one gets its own fraction. Multiply through by the common denominator, I'll look at what's missing. Think about left numbers to use to get rid of it. So if I use y is minus 1, it gets rid of the first bracket. And that would be, so it's going to be 1 minus a minus 1, so that's going to be 2b, so 1 for b. If I use plus 1, that will get rid of the second bracket, so that will be 2 is 2a, so 1 for a. Well, that's quite easy. So my 2 over 1 minus y, 1 plus y, which looks a bit backwards, is 1 over 1 minus y plus 1 over 1 plus y. So all of this is kind of a side working, working out the, using partial fractions. So what I'm really saying then, do it here, go back to blue, is that left-hand integral is actually the, what is it called? I lost the formula of the thing in my, let's move that there. It's actually a 1 over, 1 minus y plus a 1 over 1 plus y dy is an integral of 1 over 1 plus x dx. Right then, so let's think about what have I got, what do I want? So I've got a 1 on the top, and if I differentiate inside the bracket, it's a minus 1. And it's log of whatever's on the bottom. So that's just going to be minus log. 1 minus y. This one, what I've got is a 1, and what I want is a 1, so that's perfect. That's just log of 1 plus y. So I've got log of 1 plus y. What have I got? I've got the 1. What do I want if I differentiate the bottom as a 1? So once again, that's perfect. Plus c. I reckon that then. <laughs> right, now then. Uh, there's different ways of doing this. I can combine everything. Or I can see the this, this C as a log of a different number. So it's up to you which way you do it. But I can combine this side here. Uh, where am I? 
just lost my train of thought there. I can combine that as log of 1 plus y divided by the minus 1 minus y is log of 1 plus x plus c. If I sub in the values, so x is 5 uh, and y is a half, so that would be 3 over 2 over a half. So if you think that's just going to be log 3, uh, that's going to be log 6 plus c. If I take it over, so I've got log 3 minus log 6, I can combine them, that will give me log of 3 over 6, which is log a half. So, yep, I'll leave it like that for now. Hang on. It's getting carried away with my little self. So that's my C value. Where's my general? So this here, we'll put a box around it because it's a bit messy. This here is my general solution. That there is my general solution. If I put the log half in as C, uh, so I've got, I'm going to use this here, this one. So I've got log of 1 plus y, 1 minus y, is log of 1 plus x, whoops, plus log of a half. This must be a straight down. So if I combine the right hand side now, there's a lot of logs going on. 1 plus y, 1 minus y. That's adding, so it's multiplying. So log of a half of 1 plus x. Because I've got logs on both sides, I can add them to log and get rid of the logs. So I've got a 1 plus y, a 1 minus y is a half 1 plus x. Right now, does it want it y equals? Because I've done quite a lot of maths there. I've done partial fractions. I've got a general solution, uh, which I could say is this one, couldn't I? If I move it down a bit, it could be that the, the general solution. Uh, I've worked out the c value for a particular solution. It wants it in the form y, so I just need to do a little bit of rearranging. Uh, which will be a little bit of expanding brackets and um, taking out factors and rearranging. Right, are you ready for this? So, one, so uh, have we got room? Yeah, I've got room. This is normally like one of the, the worst kind of answered questions. I might take that two up there. And I've got 1 plus x, 1 minus y. What in GCSE papers? The algebra of this is shocking. Uh, minus y plus x minus xy. Right, so take the y's over. So if I want the y's on the left, uh, I've got a 2y add a y is 3y, so that's them dealt with. Plus xy is, take the 2 over. So that would be a minus 1, so it would be an x minus 1 there, if you follow it through. Then take out y as a, fra as a factor and divide through. Do you reckon about that then? There's some messy algebra. I've got it in the form y equals now. If it didn't, then that would that, you know, be fine. That would be fine. Because it wants it y equals. You've got to do the expanding brackets and rearranging, which might blow your mind a little bit. But there, we've done that one now. It's all sorted. Right, and I think it has some more. Is there a question for you on the next page? No, it's an example. Right, I'll do that for you. Okay, bye-bye.